Well, the, the local economy, as we know, is, is on a downturn a lot of places, and the community can't afford to lose 200 jobs from the tax base, and additionally, mail service would end up going for a lot of places we currently service from overnight to a two-day minimum. It's very important. I think Newcastle has enough, you know, they need the jobs, and I can't understand why they would close this post office. And I pay all my bills through the mail. I use all, I use the mail all the time. I'm strongly opposed to the closing of this facility. We're ha we have, we are an Act 47 uh, city. That means that we're a, medic, uh, we're a financially distressed community. And I think we can't afford to lose 100 jobs, 150 jobs, or 200 jobs, just because they think that this, this facility is not doing what it should be doing. This is a second, the first or second best facility, uh, efficiency-wise, in the country. There's no reason why this has to go. Currently, we're overnight to 100, 115 different offices, and if the change was made, a minimum of around 85 of those offices would become two-day delivery instead of overnight. It's a downgrading of the service, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. So I didn't get in your mail in one day, you may get maybe in three or four days, local mail. That's my concern. But overall, it's not going to affect my family that much. But it's going to affect the city, and that's why I'm here. And we need to spread the word not only to the Newcastle community, but to any person in a zip code that starts with 160, 161, or 162, because those are all the zip codes that we service on a uh, daily basis. And a lot of these people don't realize that they're affected by this too, not just the Newcastle community. Come on, big bad arms, support the post office, save our jobs, 150 to 200. The only direct communications that the employees and the union have had in relationship to this was on April 10th, we received notification from the district manager and the local manager that they were looking at consolidating a portion of our mail processing operations into Pittsburgh. Then, on April 30th, through an article given by Postal Spokesperson Tad Kelly, we read in the Pittsburgh Tribune, Tribune that they're actually looking at closing the facility instead. It's important for me to be here because I believe in the union and I believe that what is happening to us is devastating to this economy in Newcastle. And the more people that we can get to show their concern and that it's really going to affect our lives in a very deep way, I think is going to help sway the opinion. Well, it's going to affect me unbelievably. I just bought a home about a year and a half ago that I thought I would probably retire in at some point, and it just happens to be 45 minutes north of here. Even if I could get a job in Pittsburgh, if they would close our facility, I can't make that drive every day. It's it's too far, so I would have to try to sell my house in a you know terrible economy right now. I don't think it's going to happen, and it's going to put a severe hardship on my family, and there's a lot of other people out here that have similar stories. Well, actually, my inside information source 
because I haven't had direct communications with the postal spokesperson ends up indicating that Pittsburgh actually may not have been able to handle the volume that Newcastle has and actually they're looking at currently splitting the mail processing operation, a portion of it to Pittsburgh and the other portion to Youngstown, which means that our jobs wouldn't just end up staying in the state of Pennsylvania, uh, jobs could ultimately be moved into Ohio. Well, I think it's imperative that we preserve these jobs for the community. Um, Newcastle's already in distress status. We don't need to lose 200 jobs. It's just going to add to the burden for everyone else that's uh, left behind if these jobs do go away. Um, it's, we have to do all we can to keep that from happening. Today is my 21st anniversary with the Postal Service, and I wanted to be here to support the cause that's going on, that they're trying to close our plant, and I, I would like to be here another 21 years if possible.